<laughs> I can't tell. It says, what color is inside? And then there's this little hole. So when I look in it, all I see is blackness. Uh, why can't I tell what color is inside the can? There's a half inch hole drilled through the wood and can lid. Inside is painted one of these cars that's on the outside. And when we're studying light, I put this out for my students to take a look at. And I tell them I'll give them extra credit if they can determine what car is inside and additional points if they can tell me the three words that are written on the bottom of the can. So they can do whatever means they want to to try and figure out what's inside as long as they don't open the can up. It's been interesting watching students try and solve this problem. Students have tried all sorts of tricks. They've tried looking under bright lights. They've tried using little flashlights. They've tried using mirrors. They've tried using combinations of mirrors and light to see what's inside. And this student is even trying to use a green laser pointer. There's nothing in there. <laughs> now, eventually, some students come up with a way to figure out what's inside. So what's the point of all this? Well, the point is that for us to see something, light has to be reflected off the surface. Enough light has to get inside the can, reflect off that surface, and then come through that small opening so that we can see it. And black is actually the absence of reflected light. Surfaces that are painted black still reflect a certain amount of light. Notice how much darker the hole is from the can than the circle of cardboard that's surrounding it. If we use a really small flashlight and we get it just at the right angle, we might be able to see what's inside. So, what color do you think is painted on the bottom of the can? Okay, let's open it up and see. Well, I guess now that I've shown it, I'm going to have to change this around for next year. <laughs>